Welcome to the Solving Equations Podcast, brought to you by the Enrichment Division of White Lake Area Community Education. The purpose of this podcast is to provide supplemental instruction as a service to students and parents. Hi, I'm Al Karaba. This is our third of three podcasts entitled Solving Multi-Step Equations. This will combine what we learned in podcasts one and two. Let's get started. In solving equations, there are two basic things to remember. Number one, we must undo what has been done to our variable. And number two, we must do the same thing to both sides. Again, always keeping in mind, our equation must be this balanced teeter-totter, the equal sign representing our teeter-totter. Let's take a look at a couple uh, things here. First of all, a reminder of what we talked about a long time ago, which was order of operations. We know that in a problem that contains more than one operation, that you must do multiplication or division first, then addition or subtraction. Solving algebraic problems, though, we are undoing those two operations. So when we're undoing them, we always undo our adding or subtracting first, and then undo the multiplication and division second. So it's just the opposite of order of operations when you're solving equations. Let's look at example number one here. In example number one, we have a variable that's not only being multiplied by a number, 2 times x, we're also adding 5 to that particular variable. So to solve this, again, we must undo what's being done, and we must do the same thing to both sides. Remembering that I must work in the reverse order of operations, the first thing that I'm going to undo is what I'm adding to the variable. So to undo the plus 5, I will subtract 5. And again, I must do it from both sides. The 2x remains. 5 minus the 5 gets rid of that. And so now our 2 times x equals 17 minus 5, which is 12. We now have a problem that looks exactly like the ones we dealt with in podcast 2. A number times our variable. To undo our multiplication, we will divide. 2 divided by 2 gives us just the x left over. And our 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. x equals 6 is our answer. If we want to check to make sure our answer is correct, we replace x in our original equation with 6. So does 2 times 6 plus 5 equals 17? 12 plus 5 does equal 17? Yes, our answer is correct. Example 2 has our variable x divided by 3 and also subtracting 2 from it. Remembering we're working in the reverse of order of operations, the first thing we'll do is add 2 to both sides. That undoes our subtraction. That leaves me with x over 3 as the only thing left on the left-hand side, equaling, of course, 8 plus the 2, which is 10. Now, again, this looks like a problem that we had from podcast 2. Our variable being divided by 3, to undo the division, we will multiply. Have to do it to both sides. This leaves me with x equaling 10 times 3. That's an easy one. 30. We can take our variable, x equals 30, put it back into our original problem to check our answer. 30 over 3 minus 2, does that equal 8? 30 divided by 3 is 10 minus 2. That does indeed equal 8. Yes, we're correct. Our final example has both 5 being added and our 2 thirds being multiplied. Again, going back to our last problem or a similar problem to the last one in podcast 2. Again, working in the reverse of order of operations, I will undo the add 5 first by subtracting 5 from both sides. That gives me my 2 thirds x equals 6, 11 minus 5. To undo my timesing by 2 thirds, or multiplying by 2 thirds, 
I can divide by two-thirds, or if you remember, I will simply multiply by the reciprocal of two-thirds, which is three over two, remembering that I need to do it to both sides. That will leave me with just x equals on the left-hand side, and on our right side, six times three halves, six divided by two is three, three times three, nine our answer. Again, I'm eliminating showing all the math here. This is a problem that we've done before. Let's check to see if our answer makes sense. Two-thirds times our x from the original problem, which we will now replace with 9, plus 5, does that equal 11? Two-thirds times 9 is 6. 6 plus 5 does equal 11. Yes, we are successful. Congratulations to us. These three podcasts are really the first steps of equation solving. The steps that we learned here will lead you into solving many more complex equations and inequalities as you move on. Using these steps as the basis of your knowledge, you will find great success later on. Thank you for watching the Solving Equations podcast. Brought to you by the Enrichment Division of White Lake Area Community Education. We want your feedback. Let us know what you like or dislike about this series. Do you have a suggestion for a future episode? Please send your comments to Brian Barber at whitehall.k12.mi.us.